Yep. Hello, YouTube. Um, we're going to do a quick attempted at feeding of the Monocentropus belfori sling communal. Uh, one was just out right there. We're going to throw four crickets in there and see if we can get anybody to come out and feed. <clears throat> Without the crickets jumping out, that is. See, yeah, there's one coming right, right there. breathe on it. I think we actually just got kind of a threat posture out of that one. <clears throat> How did you miss? You missed bad. This is the one that's been out a lot. I, I know because it's it's tanner than the other ones are. After we uh, we watch these guys for a few, <laughs> look at that. It is threat posturing. It's threat posturing the crickets. Anyway, after we watch these guys for just a few, I don't know why that cricket keeps pulling its leg up and you can't see it. The leg pulls its leg up and starts licking his long leg. It's kind of the, one of the pet stores finally had a little tiny cricket, so I picked them up today. So we did have one of the four molt. I don't think it's this one that molted. I think it's actually, there's one in the back that's a little smaller and a little darker, and it's got the smallest abdomen. <clears throat> now I haven't seen all four of them in the back together uh, in a few days. Um, I did see three uh, this morning, and this guy wasn't one of them, so I know all four of them are there. We only have two crickets out here right now. I don't know what the, what went on in the back. He doesn't look like he wants to eat. Oh yeah, the other three are back here. It's 
So all four of them are here. Three of them are lined up right where my light's shining. Right in the back. So I don't know, I don't think any crickets have made it back there yet. I think, I think he's actually drinking water out of the, uh, off the web there. Both the cricket and the spider. So, I'm not really quite sure if that little guy is going to eat this cricket or not, but we'll, <clears throat> I think he's actually drinking water. Oh, he got him. There we go. There's our first L4 communal takedown. We got him right in the back. Now it's been about seven days since I fed them which is a little bit longer than I want it to go. I want to try and do like every five days with them <clears throat> until they get a little bit bigger. But you can see at this size, they show no adult coloration whatsoever. They're pretty much brown. Still nice looking slings though. So we got one with the meal at least. The other three are still hanging out together in the back. So hopefully the uh, other the cricket in the corner. And then looks like there's two crickets that went in the other corner underneath all the shrubbery. So hopefully the other little ones will get these crickets and then we'll try feeding them again in about five days roughly so I have them on the tarantula app I have them listed singly but I can't tell you which one is one two three or four so I don't really mark down any feedings of them you know the the date unless all I see all four of them eat then I would mark it down but <clears throat> I just marked down um, the communal feeding when I actually put crickets in there or baby nymphs or whatever it is that I'm putting in there. Uh, I mark that down so I know at least where I'm at in the feeding cycle of the month. Um, so I want to try and do at least four to five feedings a month for the first few months of these guys. Um, you know, I may, I may break it out to seven days and just try to do the four feedings or once a week feedings. I just don't want any buddy deciding that they're hungry and eating their brother so okay well uh, thanks for watching uh, too bad we couldn't get the other three to come out but I will show you them real quick let me put the uh, lid on yeah they're still all three of the, the other crickets are still in there so what we'll do is there's the other three So the one I think that molted is the one in the middle. You see the one that's down there looks a little bit bigger than the others. Um, either is going to molt or I don't know because like I said it's been seven days. I'm sorry I'm trying to get this camera that there we go so I can hold it better. I think the one that molted is the darker one. You can see the difference. Brown brown, dark, brown. That darker one is the one that was the original one, one that I already had here. So um, 
Yeah, we'll, we'll watch them, <clears throat> see if we get anybody to molt. I'll at least try to catch them. I, I look at them every morning and every evening because they're right next to my bed. I just wanted to make sure that I keep an eye on them pretty closely. So I'm going to uh, get this video set, and then I'm going to do another new arrival video of the stuff that came today. Um, four things came today. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to see them. They're, two of them are pretty small. One's in pre-molt, and the other one is very timid. So uh, thanks for watching this one, uh, and we'll try to keep these Balfouri communal updates uh, going as often as I can. Um, everybody likes the Balfouris. They're, they're pretty much a uh, staple favorite in the hobby, so I know people like to watch the videos of them. Um, they have done some really good webbing, and they're really taking to this area, so I, I think we're doing good, and uh, not as good as some of the other guys. And some, Mark's got some nice big ones. I think he bought bigger ones when he got them. Um, if you haven't seen Mark Tarantula's new video, what is a tarantula? I highly, highly, highly recommend it. It is an outstanding, outstanding video. He did some very great work, some very super awesome information, and it, it was his voice is so creepy in it. It just made the whole video what it is. So go check it out. Um, what I'll do is I'll, if I can remember, I'll try and put a link in my next video. Um, for that or I'll try putting it in this video for that if I can figure out how to link his video into my video but you should go check it out all right we'll talk to everybody soon have a great day